And joining us from their headquarters in New Jersey is Dr. Philip Chan. He is the CEO of Cytosorbents Corporation, their stock symbol CTSO. Uh, Dr. Chan, welcome to the program. Hi, Don. How are you? Thank you very much for having me on. We're really glad to have you here. Now, Cytosorbents Corporation describes itself as a critical care-focused therapeutic device company using blood purification to modulate the immune system and fight multi-organ failure and life-threatening illnesses. Can you give us a general overview of the company, please? Cytosorbents is a publicly traded medical device company using blood purification to treat life-threatening illnesses like infection and sepsis, burn injury, trauma, severe lung injury, pancreatitis, and a number of other critical illnesses where inflammation plays a major role. The heart of our technology is a highly porous polymer bead, as you can potentially see in this vial here. Each bead is roughly the size of a grain of salt, but each bead has millions of pores and channels in it that have the ability to extract toxins from blood that can cause critical illnesses. So these beads can be used in many different configurations. The first configuration is in a hemoperfusion cartridge that is similar to dialysis, uh, such as this product here, Cytosorb. The second way that the device can be used is in an extended contact with blood, as with our HemoDefend platform that is under development for the treatment of blood transfusion products. Uh, in this particular case, we're trying to treat the more than 100 million blood transfusions that are administered every year uh, in the world. And the technology can be used a third way, uh, as in a, a blood purification inline filter that can be used for many different extracorporeal circuits, uh, such as cardiopulmonary bypass and others. So our company is based upon three pillars. Uh, the first pillar is really commercialization of our prime technologies. The second pillar is uh, research and development. And we have a very strong research and development program here where we're looking to fill our pipeline with new products. And the third pillar is strategic partnerships and business development. We're looking to monetize a rich technology portfolio and bring in additional dollars to the company in that way, giving us more shots on goal uh, towards commercialization. Well, Dr. Chan, I know your personal background is actually quite impressive. You wouldn't mind sharing some of that with us? Oh, uh, thank you, Don. Um, well, I am a uh, board, I'm the CEO of Cytosorbents Corporation. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician. I did my MD and PhD at Yale University School of Medicine. I did my internal medicine residency at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center at Harvard. Uh, I spent about five years in venture capital. I was a partner at NJTC Venture Fund, heading up their healthcare and life science investments, and have literally seen thousands of companies and thousands of different business models, which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited about this particular company. Uh, and I've been doing, I've been the CEO of this company now for uh, almost four years. The company's flagship product is Cytosorb, and it's best described really as a lifesaver. Now tell us about Cytosorb. Sure. Uh, Cytosorb is our flagship product that is now approved in the European Union and being commercialized in Germany. This is a product that tries to address the critical unmet medical need in the intensive care unit, uh, where patients are dying every day from multiple organ failure. This is when the critical organs such as the lungs, the kidneys, the heart, the liver start to fail. Once the organs start to fail, the person will die. And so what we are trying to do with this therapy is we are trying to remove the inflammatory toxins called cytokines that are directly responsible for causing cell death and organ failure in these patients. And because of that, we're looking to revolutionize critical care medicine. Well, big news announced by the company a few days ago, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has awarded the company a technology development contract worth up to $3.8 million. This has to be an exciting time for the company. Well, thank you, Don. We're extremely excited. Uh, the DARPA program represents not only third-party validation from a major U.S. government funding source, but also represents non-dilutive funding for our research and development programs going forward. Now, DARPA, your, in, your viewers may not be aware, is responsible for funding some of the major innovations in both technology and medicine today. For instance, they funded the development of the Internet. They funded global positioning satellites, GPS. Uh, they funded the Star Wars anti-missile defense system, the Predator unmanned drone vehicle, uh, but they've also uh, funded major innovations in medicine, including robotic surgery, which is becoming much more popular these days, as well as a number of different things, such as countermeasures for radiation poisoning, stem cell therapies, and others. 
And what we're gratified by is that DARPA has now recognized that blood purification to treat sepsis is a very viable approach. Sepsis is one of the leading causes of death in the world. It kills millions of people each year. And Cytosorb's ability to successfully treat sepsis was really key to DARPA's entering into a contract with you. Do you see this contract, Dr. Chan, as a milestone event for Cytosorbins? Absolutely, Don. Uh, we've been working in the area of blood purification to treat sepsis for many years, specifically with our collaborator, Dr. John Kellum at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Uh, we've recognized that blood purification represents probably the best way to treat sepsis today. Many other therapies that have involved biologics or drugs have failed, and we believe that this therapy is really the key to addressing this critical issue of sepsis. Now DARPA is trying to create a smart box, a smart device that is able to purify blood with one touch of a button and purify all the different things that can lead to sepsis from blood. And we are an integral part of that uh, proposal. In addition to DARPA, the U.S. military has also funded the technology. Tell us more. Absolutely. You know, if you think about why our warfighters are dying, they are dying of penetrating wound infection, they are dying of trauma, and they are dying of burn injury. And just as in the civilian population, the military has no good way to deal with these issues because what happens is that these, if you survive the initial incident, these soldiers will die of organ failure. And again, this is what Cytosorb is trying to treat. So the military has been very enthusiastic about our technology. We received a phase one SBIR grant uh, to use our and develop our technologies for the treatment of trauma. And we've also now been invited to apply for a phase two SBIR grant that is potentially up to a million dollars. And hopefully we'll hear about that before the end of this year. The company has received high marks from stock analysts, including a recent outperform by Zach's Research and a buy rating from Breen Murray. Tell us about that. Well, sure. We're very thankful that these analysts have begun coverage on our company with an outperform and a buy rating and a target price of half of a dollar or 50 cents a share. We strongly believe that our company is undervalued at this point at our current stock price. And we hope that uh, this coverage is not only third-party validation for our investors and our prospective investors, but also uh, will provide the kind of uh, broad distribution for our, will increase the awareness of our company amongst the broader investor community, particularly institutional investors. As of the end of June, the company had officially launched Cytosorb in Germany. Now, what were the reasons for deciding to launch there? So Germany is the leading medical device market by far in the European Union, and in fact, the third largest medical device market in the world. Germany has world-class medicine. It has top doctors who are key opinion leaders in critical care medicine. Germany is the place where we did our clinical trial last, that we finished last year among some of the leading university hospitals in Germany. And we've spent the last year establishing the infrastructure so that we can be successful in Germany. First, we established a European subsidiary in Berlin. Second, we established reimbursement for Cytosorb in Germany, which is often a major stumbling block for companies trying to introduce new products. Third, we have attracted the attention of and the interest of more than three dozen key opinion leaders in the area of critical care medicine uh, who want to use our product in either clinical trials or in the practice of everyday medicine. And with this, we have now established a sales force that is targeting the top 400 hospitals in Germany. And with that, we hope to really drive the success of Cytosorb. Dr. Christian Steiner has been appointed as your VP of Sales and Marketing. Uh, tell us about Dr. Steiner. So we're very excited to have Dr. Christian Steiner as our Vice President of Sales and Marketing. He not only is a medical physician who both speaks both German and English, which is great for us, but he brings a wealth of understanding about the critical care markets in Germany. Uh, he has spent the past 12 years selling uh, medical devices into the critical, into the intensive care unit, such as liver dialysis therapies as well as blood pressure monitoring. And uh, it, during that time, he's, he has established many, many contacts with key opinion leaders throughout Germany that will help benefit our company. Cytosorb Corporation, stock symbol CTSO. Uh, Dr. Chan, why is this a good time right now for people to take a closer look at your company? Well, Don, I strongly believe that Cytosorbens represents an undiscovered major growth opportunity for investors. We are addressing one of the major unmet medical needs in all of medicine, the treatment of critical care illnesses such as sepsis and infection, burn injury, trauma, 
acute respiratory distress syndrome, pancreatitis, and numerous other illnesses seen in the intensive care unit today for which there are no good therapies, for which we believe that Cytosorb represents the solution. We've spent the past year building the infrastructure of this company to be able to capitalize on this great opportunity. We have manufacturing in place, reimbursement, veteran sales team on the ground, as well as the attention of key opinion leaders. In addition to that, we've been building momentum and awareness of our company and our technologies with funding from the US Army, DARPA, as well as coverage from key analysts. Because of this, we believe that Cytosorbens is at the inflection point of our business, and it represents a great time for investors to get involved. Again, the company is Cytosorb Corporation, CTSO. Uh, Dr. Chan, of course, we have initiated coverage of the company. We'll be following you very closely over the next several weeks. Uh, we look forward to more updates from you during that period of time. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thank you very much, Don.